Hello everyone. Nice to meet you for the first time. I am Golfy. You might be wondering how Golfy looks like. Well, here I am. Hope you love me from now on. I've been loving you guys from very 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 beginning. Today, I would love to share some ideas about golf groups. You guys know how important golf group is, right? So, here I have the Mr. Hogan's grips. I know that everyone loves Ben Hogan's swings including myself. Okay then. Let's jump in. This is where I create all videos for you guys. First, let's see some pictures that you guys might be a little bit familiar with. With the back of your left hand, facing the target. This is a very important part of gripping. And the club in the general position, it would be in at address. Place the club in the left hand so that the shaft is pressed up under the muscular pad at the inside heel of the palm, and the shaft also lies directly across the top joint of the forefinger. Crook the forefinger around the shaft, and you will discover that you can lift the club and maintain a fairly firm grip on it, by supporting it just with the muscles of that finger, and the muscles of the pad of the palm. This step is a very important start of gripping. Also, another way of making yourself in loose before swing. Harder you grip, stiffer your swings will be. Now, just close the left hand. Make sure you close the fingers before you close the thumb. And the club will be just where it should be. To make this perfect grip, I would like to suggest that practicing it at least 5 minutes a day until it becomes second nature. Make sure that your shaft end should look like pictures. To obtain the proper grip with the right hand, hold it somewhat extended, with the palm facing your target now. Your left hand is already correctly affixed, place the club in your right hand so that the shaft lies across the top joints of the four fingers and definitely below the palm. Right hand grip is in the fingers, not the palm. The V of correct left hand grip should point to golfer's right eye, where most people has dominant sight. Look at the picture saying the pressure with arrow, that's where you have pressure gently. Now, let's look at the picture of backswing. Gripping the club with the red thumb and forefinger off shaft helps you guys to accustom yourself to the feeling of strong, correct grip. This way, your both hands work together as one unit. This will produce a nice takeaway, backswing, the impact and follow through. Okay, let's check what have we is right or wrong. How do we know? If you look at the picture with shaft shaking, meaning it's wrong grip and you can have control of the club. On the other hand, if your grip is correct, you will have perfect control of your club. The last picture of today, it's about gravity. Why we have to go through all this, for what? It's about gaining that gravity on your club head. Like a picture, when you hold your club to maintain in parallels versus when you make your grip on the shaft, you will understand why pros swing so easily and hitting the ball so far. Just like Seesaw, when we were kids. It's exactly the same principle. Okay, that's it for today's video, and hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, it was really 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 and truly, nice meeting you guys. Please subscribe if you are new to the channel and make sure that you hit that bell notification and like button. I will see you soon and love you guys.